Welcome to this instructional video on how to use the PicoPause EP terminal. This is the PicoPause EP unit. It features an 8 inch touchscreen display, an integrated 2.5 inch printer, and right now we're using the optional cache drawer and barcode scanner. The first screen you'll see when you turn on your PicoPause unit is the Pico Shell. In the Pico Shell, there are five buttons. The first button, Pico ID, shows you the unique identifier that's used to identify your Pico terminal to the cloud. The sync button is used for updating the system software or updating your PLU database. Setup button is used for changing things like system date and time or calibrating the screen. All of the Pico management functions can be found using the management button. Here, you can change things like item PLUs or set up your employees. And the final button, is the PicoPause button which takes you into the PicoPause software. Okay, so let's check out the PicoPause system. Press on the PicoPause button and it will load the software. Okay, here we are at the main PicoPause login screen. From here you can log in and check out the management functions, which is things like doing your sales reports or doing your end of day. Go back to the main login. You can do your clock in, clock out function from here. So now you can see that the user is clocked out. I'm going to clock that user back in again. And now let's log into the PicoPause system. Here you can see the main PicoPause screen. The screen is broken up into several different areas. We have the main item description area. We have the keypad area. The four main quick keys are located in the middle. And your menu pad is off to the right. As we change the different pads, you'll see the different buttons appear, which give you the different functions. And then the management function, which gives you all of the different manager-related items. Okay, now let's go through a basic Pico Pause order. So we'll start with a soup. I'll choose onion soup, and I want a beverage with that, so I'm going to choose a coffee. When I'm ready to pay my order, I hit total. It shows me the total due up at the top here. If I just tap on that amount, it fills it in for me. I can hit cash, and the Pico Paws will close the transaction and print the receipt. Now let's go through some of the more advanced Pico Paws functions, like changing item quantities or removing an item from an order. So, first thing we'll do is we'll check an item here. I'll choose chicken fingers. It's going to ask me for what type of sauce I want with that. I'm going to choose barbecue. I can go to burgers and sandwiches, order a hamburger, and we can go to soups, and let's say now I want to have two of the clam chowders, so I can say two times clam chowder. If I want to change that, I can go to the total screen, I can change the quantity on this item by moving it up and down, or I can change the quantity to a, a number, a fixed number, chicken fingers, so I can go three, change quantity. And now we'll put three chicken fingers on the order. When I'm ready to pay the order, I just hit total. I can tap on the total at the top to fill it in for me automatically. Choose my payment method and it will choose, it will close the order and print the receipt. So now we're going to focus on the total screen or the home screen in PicoPaws. We'll look at all the different functions that are available on the screen. When you first set up your PicoPaws device, we give you a predefined list of functions that are available on the screen, which you're welcome to change and put any of the other functions that you might want on this screen. So first of all, we'll show you some of the open department information. Let's say you don't want to define a PLU, you just want to bring it in as an open department. So you can have two times six dollar item in department two. I can have an eight dollar item in department four, or I can have seven times sixteen dollar items in department five so you see how that works if I want to take this item out I can just hit delete item I can change the quantity using these buttons up in the top in yellow I can assign table numbers or guest numbers to this order if I wanted to um, I can start new orders or save orders up in this area here with the gray buttons I can add an order remark for example to an order if I want to say testing and this will print on the receipt when it prints. I can do a price lookup or edit the choices for an item. I can do a quick PLU lookup if I want. I can go, well, what's item number 35? And there it is, it's chicken wings on the top. 
I can choose plum sauce and it will add it to my order. On the right hand side here we have all the payment forms so when I'm ready to pay my bill I just press total I can select the amount from the top there and I can choose Visa and it'll print out my receipt and close the transaction. Let's have a look now at some of the management functions that are built into PicoPaws. So we'll press on the management button. These are the functions that are security related, so things like applying discounts or voiding an order. In order to get into the management area, you need to have management access. I'm logged in as an administrative user right now, so it lets me in right away. But if I wasn't and I press the management button, it would require me to enter a password before I'd have access to these fields. So let's go through some of these uh, items. I will actually put a few orders in to the bill so that I can actually make modifications and change some of the things here. So I'll pick a salad here and okay so let's go to the management function here and apply some of these management functions to these. On the top here I have order based discounts so these would apply to the entire order. So for example if I press 20% discount it would actually put in a 20% discount on the whole order. If I cleared all the discounts using this button, it goes back to its original and I can apply an item based discount now. So for example, if the soup of the day was 50% off, I could choose item 50% discount and it will only discount the soup of the day. I can change things, uh, or change price to any price I wish. So instead of $5.95, I can choose $2.95 for the price on the Caesar salad and hit change price and you'll see that the price changes to whatever price I wish. I can clear any discounts I applied before and I can also reset anything to its original price just by clicking on it and pressing original price and it will clear any ch changes that I made back to the original pricing that was set in your menu. I can void an order from here, um, I can say not to print the order or I can print an extra copy if I wish and I have a no sale button as well to open the cash drawer. So that gives you an overall view of what all is available in the management function. You can add or remove functions to the screen as you wish using the programming mode down at the bottom. In this PicoPause demonstration, we're gonna show you how to put in some items for an order and then how to close that order using a split payment or a split tender. So let's go ahead and select a few items here. So now I've selected a few items, let's pay this bill. So I hit total, it gives me a total of what my order is here, and I'm gonna use a split tender. So I'm gonna put some of it on cash and some of it on credit card. So my total is 2045, so I'm gonna put 15 of that to Visa, and you'll see it leaves me a balance of 545. So I can tap on 545 at the top, it fills in the tender amount for me, and I can pay the rest to cash. We'll now print my receipt and close that check. And on my receipt, you'll be able to see that I have shown my split tender on the receipt. So now let's put it in order, but let's just do a quick close. In this situation, I don't have to put in a tender amount or anything, I just have to quickly close it. So I'm going to order chicken wings, choose a sauce, pick in a total, and hit quick close. It'll now assume that I paid the actual tender amount to cash and close the item for me right away. The quickest way to use PicoPaws is to be able to ring in items that are not defined or not programmed into PLUs. In this way we can use the department functions built into PicoPaws. So for example, if I want to have a couple items, so two items that are priced at $6 each, they could just be assigned to a department and I can have eight items for a dollar and assign it to department three. So in this way, I don't have to actually choose a specific item in the, in the menu or PLU from a retail shop. I can just assign a department to it right away. And then I can go to my total screen and I can pay out that amount and get my receipt. And you'll see on the receipt, it'll just be defined to a specific department, department two or department three in this case. We can also have, use the quick close function built into PicoPause, which allows us just to ring an amount and uh, press quick close and 
PicoPause will assign it to a department automatically. So if we just want to ring up a $10 item, I can hit Quick Close. PicoPause will produce a receipt and automatically will assign that receipt to department zero for my reporting purposes.